intro trigger graph. So the best method reveal. So first step, okay. So general equation of a trigger curve. So here I'm using an example for sine. So y equals to a sine bx plus c. So in this case, a right represents the amplitude. So if you are a physics student, you should know amplitude basically means what? The maximum displacement of the wave or the maximum height of the wave. Okay. And then what about b? b is to help you to figure out what is the period of the wave. Period basically equals to what? 360 over b if it's in degree or 2 pi over b in radian. Or a simpler way of putting it is what? How many complete waves in 360 degrees? So later I will explain more on this one. And then of course, plus c. So basically it means what? Shift the graph up or down by how many units? So if it's plus 1, you shift the whole graph up by 1 unit. Or if it's minus 2, so you shift uh, the whole curve down by 2 units. Okay, so let's look at sine curve first. Okay, so sine curve, if you've seen before, is basically like a mountain and a valley. So it will be one point here, another point here, 180, 270 is that negative one, and then at 360 is zero. So important to take note is what? Whenever you have a curve, right? When you draw on your full scale, you should divide it into four equal intervals 90, 180, 270, and 360. Okay, so every time you divide into four equal intervals. Okay, and then 1 and then minus 1. So it's good that you can use the lines on your full scale. So your graph will look uh, evenly spaced out, very proportionate. Okay, so this is what you get. Okay, a sine curve, a mountain and then a valley. Okay, so this is the most basic sine curve. It uh, ranges from 1 to negative 1. Okay, so let's look at some transformation. What about you are asked to draw y equals to 2 sine x. So let's do our origin one first. Okay, so important is to have your guiding points. Okay, so that your shape will look uh, very nice. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so just keep practicing this method. Y equals to sine x. Okay, so now if it's 2 sine x, 2 still remember what does it mean? Okay, it means the amplitude is 2. Okay, so now your wave right is no longer from 1 to minus 1. It's from 2 to minus 2. So every y coordinate you can basically times two. Zero times two is still zero. So it's a purple dot. Okay. One times two become two. So it's here. Here zero times two is still zero. Here times two it become minus two. And then here is still zero. So if you connect, you just get this. Okay. Y equals to two sine x. So the original one you can leave it as dotted. Okay. Or you can erase it if you want. Then you just leave the final one. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, next one y equals to sine x plus 1. So let's do the usual one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mountain and valley. Okay, so let's connect it. y equals to sine x. Okay, so now if it's plus 1, means what? Just like I mentioned, every point will be like shift upwards by 1 unit. Okay, so the whole shape will look exactly the same, but you just shift it 1 unit. So from 0, you shift up, become 1. From 1, you shift up, become 2. From here, become 1. From here, become 0. From here, become 1. So you just connect it. Okay, so y equals sine x plus y. So make sure you label it, and then this one will be in dotted. So if you see carefully, the shape looks exactly the same. It's just that the location, somebody shift up one unit. That's all. Okay, next one. What about y equals sine 2x? Okay, now the 2 is in front. Uh, I mean, it's inside the x. It's no longer in front. In front is amplitude. If it's inside, it means what? Okay, so now they are, uh, we do the original one first. 1 dot, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this is your usual sine curve. Okay, but now in order to do y equals to sine 2x, right? There's two methods. The first method is what? From 0 to 360, uh, there are two sine waves. This is a shortcut. So how do I know is there's two sine waves? So whatever number you see here, right? It means how many waves you have in 360 degrees range. From here to here. If it's 1x, there's only one sine curve. If it's 2x, means there are two small sine waves in 360 degrees range. If it's 3x, so from 0 to 360, there are three small sine wave okay or you want the other way which is the formula period equals to 360 over b so this formula you have to memorize okay and then b in this case is what two so you can sub it in you get 180 degrees so period is 180 means what means from 0 to 180 you'll see one complete wave then from 180 to 360 you'll see another complete wave okay so you can do either one if you need to show the working you can do this one if uh, working is not required, you can do a shortcut. This one is actually faster. Okay, so let's do the guiding point. So in your mind, you already know from 0 to 180, you have one small sine wave. So you can do your guiding point first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Okay, so from 180 to 360, another small sine wave here. One more, two, three, four. Okay, so we just connect the dots. Concave, convex, concave, convex. Okay, y equals to sine two x. Then the original one, you can erase it or you can just leave it in dotted lines. Okay, so make sure you label your graph. Next one, let's look at cosine x. Okay, how does a cosine curve look like? It looks like a valley. Okay, a big valley. So it started from one, zero, minus one, zero, then one. So we just connect the dots, concave, convex. Okay, so there's your cosine x. So same thing, you must always divide into four intervals. Okay, 90, 180, 270, 360. It can be in radian as well. Okay, later I'll show you an example where it's in radian. So whether you leave it in degree or radian, you have to look at the question carefully. Okay. Let's look at y equals to 2 cosine x. So let's do the usual one first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's your usual cosine curve. But now it's 2, means what? Amplitude is 2. So your y coordinates have to times 2. So initially here is 1, you times 2 become 2. This one is still 0. This one become minus 2 now. This one times 2 is still 0. And this one times 2 become 2. So if you connect dots, it will look like this. Okay. So the red one, uh, initial graph, just leave it in dotted, okay? Next one, y equals to cosine 3x, okay? So I purposely choose 3x. Usually you should get 2x or um, maybe 4x, okay? But let's say if it's 3x, what does it mean? So in this case, uh, you don't divide into 4 intervals, you divide into 3 intervals, okay? Each interval is 120, 120 and 180. So it's 1, 2, 0, 2, 4, 0 and 3, 6, 0, okay? So this one is your usual curve, okay? 90, 180, 270, and 360. The reason why you draw divide into three intervals, right? You understand why. Okay? Because remember now it's cosine 3x. So it means what? Using our method one, we know that what from 0 to 360 you will see what? Three small cosine wave. Okay? So here's one, here's two, and here's three. Okay? Or you want to do the method two, also can. Period equals to 360 over B. But now B in this case is what? It's three. So you get one, two, zero degrees. So every 120 degrees range, you'll see one small cosine wave. Then here's another one, then here's another one. So total, you'll draw three of it, small one, okay? So let's do the guiding point first. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Try to uh, estimate, okay? As accurate as you can. Okay, that's the another one. One, two, three, four, okay? One, two, three, four. So you just connect them. Okay, concave convex. So the original one you can leave it in dotted line. Okay, then you can label y equals to cosine 3x. Okay. Next one, what do you see modulus? Sometimes once in a while you might see a modulus wave. Okay. So let's do the original one first, the cosine curve. Okay. So the original one, okay, cosine x. So now it is modulus. Modulus basically means what? Whatever is in the negative region, right? Okay, below the x, this is considered a negative region, you will reflect upwards. So from minus one, you will reflect to one. Okay. Whatever is in the positive region, you can just leave it as it is. So guiding points, one, two, this one still stay here. But minus one, you become one. Zero is still zero. One is still one. Modulus one is still one. Okay. So you just connect, it looks like a W shape. Okay. Then original, you can leave it in dotted, then just later. Y goes to Modulus cosine x. Okay, so they might mix and match different transformation into one equation. So just watch out. Next one, what about this one? A harder one, cosine two x minus one. So whenever you get this kind of complicated question, uh, so you should always start from inside first. Okay, so I'll do cosine x first, then cosine two x. Slowly you transform. Then after that, I will minus one. Okay, means the whole graph I shift down one unit, and then finally, then I will modulus it. Okay, so if you are confident, you can actually straight away start from cosine 2x. If not, I will, you can just start from cosine x, doesn't matter. Okay, so for explanation's sake, I will just start from cosine x. Okay, and then uh, take note, you realize I divide into 4 equal interval, but in this case, right, I use radian. Okay, pi over 2 is 90, pi is 180, 3 pi over 2 is 270 degrees, and 2 pi is 360. So if the question asks you to leave it in radian, you should do it in radian. Okay. So let's do cosine x first, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a big valley, okay? So this is what you get, cosine x. Now, we will proceed on to 
cosine 2x. Cosine 2x, remember, means what? You have two cosine wave, two small cosine wave. From 0 to pi, you will see one cosine wave. From pi to 2 pi, you will see another cosine wave. Okay, so always do your guiding point so it looks proportionate your waves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this one small sine wave. Now we'll do the second one. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Another wave. So just connect the dots. Okay, so that's cosine 2x. Okay, so the original one, you can leave it in dotted. Okay, not yet done. You still have another transformation. Now your whole wave, uh, you have to shift down one, one unit, minus one. So the whole purple wave, you shift down one unit. From zero, you shift down become, uh, from one, you shift down become zero. From zero, you become minus one. This one will become minus two. This one will become minus one. This one will become zero. This one will become minus one. This one will become minus two. This one will become minus one. And this one will become zero. Okay, so you just connect the blue dots. Okay, so this cosine 2x minus one. So it's exactly same as the purple. It's just shift down one unit. Okay, then finally, Modulus it. You're going to modulus the blue wave. Okay, so ignore the red and the purple. If it's too messy, uh, in the exam you can you can just erase whatever. Just keep the purple. Uh, keep the blue wave. Okay, so you need a modulus. So if you realize all the blue wave right is exactly like below the axis, means the whole wave is in the negative region. So when you modulus it, you will become the positive region. So this is like your mirror line. You reflect upwards. Okay, so now from two valley, it will become like two small mountain. From here, this will become one. Minus 2 will become 2, minus 1 will become 1, 0 is still 0, then this will become 1, then become 2, 1 and 0. So if you connect the uh, green dots, you get a 2 mountain. Modulus cosine 2x minus 1. Okay. So if it's too complicated or uh, uh, too messy, you can erase all the dotted lines. Just leave the final answer. Or if you choose, you can just leave it as it is there. Okay. Just make sure that only the final answer should be in bold, uh, bold line. Everything else should be in dotted. Okay? Next one. Why goes to tangent x? Okay, tangent x is actually the, the hardest to draw. and But luckily, rarely it will come out. Okay? So usually in the exam, your teacher will give question on sine and cosine. But uh, you still need to know how to draw tangent because once in a while, they might still come out. So let's get to this. Why goes to tangent x? So first of all, you must draw your asymptotes. Okay, asymptotes will be at 90 and 270. Asymptotes basically means what? The wave will approach the dotted line, but you will never cut or never touch the dotted line. Okay, and let's move on to the guiding points. Okay, guiding points will be 0. Next guiding point will be uh, at 45 degree, right? You'll be at 1. So you must mark out these important uh, dots, guiding points. Then next one, at between 90 and 180, about 135 degrees, you're at negative 1. So you put a dot here, 180, another dot. Okay, between 180 and 270 is another in the middle, it's at 1 again. Okay, then between 270 and 360 in the middle is about 315, you make a dot at negative 1. Okay, then last point is 360. So when you connect the dots, you'll be concave upwards, then concave downwards, then concave upwards, and then concave downwards. So you'll go up, uh, approach the dotted line, but it will never touch. Okay, so it looks something like that. Tangent x. Okay. 